Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So, um, good evening. I... This morning I was in court and um Yes. Hello? Mhm. Mm Acha atapabali kumba wakeni. Kuma keni. Hey. Mhm. And that's far. On the other side. Mhm. That's far by the time they are reaching that side. Mm -hmm. that's the traffic. that's really far okay i'll call you back um i'm, I'm just about to do a live let me call you back mm. okay mm. so <clears throat> this morning i was in court and um after i finished court i i started looking around for uh for chris zumani zimba and uh, his other co-accused uh i couldn't i couldn't uh, uh you know get into chimbokaila for some reasons but it has now been confirmed that chris zumanzimba is at chimbokaila it has been confirmed that chris zumanzimba is at chimbokaila uh one of his co-accused is at kamwala the other three they are in chimbokaila now here is the issue here there is there is something that is that smells illegal here there is something that smells illegal and uh, you zambians or us zambians need to be wary of some of these uh things that don't really follow the law that are not in tandem with the law what is the issue the issue is this people need to know this when you are arrested when you are arrested you are detained at a police station or police post you are in the hands of the police when you are arrested you are in the hands of the police until they take you to court when they take you to court now you are in the hands of the court so at when you are arrested you are in the hands of the police there is no court involved you are in the hands of the police and this is why when they are releasing you at police station you are given bond at the police station you are given bond at the police station the police give you bond they don't give you bail they give you bond and the bond you don't pay bond at the police there is no payment there is no payment bond is you are not you are not supposed to pay you are not supposed to pay a number of citizens have been charged they have been made to pay for bond you are not supposed to pay bond is free bond is not chargeable yes there is an amount which is charged which which there is an amount which is written on the bond whereby if you if you miss the conditions or if you fail to meet the conditions that is when you pay that amount if that is when you pay that amount but at police you don't pay when you are just arrested you are in the hands of the police and if the police are to release you which is at the discretion of the police you are released on bond they you don't pay any amount unless you abrogate the conditions of the bond then you pay that amount which is on the bond now chris zuman zimba was just arrested meaning he was in the hands of the police and you can only go to chimbokaila chimbokaila is under 
the correction service chimbo kaila remand prison all the prisons remand prisons and the, the other prisons are in the hands of the correction service and to go to the prison you are supposed to pass through the court the court is the one that sends you to that sends you to a, a correction service or a prison it is not the police so at the police station they must take you to a to they must take you to to to, to court and then the court will now send you to will send you to the prison so chris was in the hands of the police and chris hasn't been to court surprisingly chris was taken at night i'm emphasizing at night he was removed from the police station at woodlands police station and taken to chimbokaila the question is how did this happen because he's supposed to pass through the court and then go to go to remand prison so how did chris find himself chris and the other friends how did he find himself in a remand prison without passing through the court this is the question chris was not taken to court by the police how did chris find himself kuchimbokaila how did chris find himself in a prison how what documents did they use to send him there when he didn't pass through the court yes a magistrate meaning from court there can be a warrant for somebody to be taken into prison you the the police can go to can go to a to a court to give a reason to say we want this person to go to uh, to to remand prison and the court can sign a warrant now these are exceptional circumstances and i'm asking if this if this is what happened who signed who signed this how did this magistrate sign that no take them to chimbokaila for what reason when the case is not before that magistrate very strange is this when the prisons are closed when the prisons are closed there is a time that prisons are closed and when the prisons are closed Buana, they are not opened at night if i told you network cut i was trying to explain uh I was trying to explain that if somebody has to move from the police going to Chimbokaila, there must be a warrant. And I'm wondering which magistrate or which judge signed for them to go into Chimbokaila. But what is more strange, what is more strange than besides those 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 documentations and procedures is that more prison, more prison according to the prisons at, there is a time when a, 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 the when the, the the prisons must close be it remand prison or the main prison there is a time when they close there is a time when they close and when they close they open in the morning unless in exceptional circumstances so in this instance i am wondering how did the police manage to take this person in the night kuna nganeku prison and have the prisons opened when you are entering new prison bingabale isala they count you one two three four shan 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 at the end of the day they they write the number 20 and they lock the the prisons until tomorrow and tomorrow morning they count again one two three they open so how did the police manage to go and convince the prison service without a person going through a, J a court to have zuman and his friends deposited in chimbokaila how did this happen there is something that is wrong here there is something that is wrong and why i'm talking i am talking because wrong things must not be allowed to perpetuate wrong things must not be ignored because it is not happening to me some of you like my chipo edwards mutinta ababa chipo edwards mutinta but then start alarmists 
this for them it is okay but chipo edwards mutinta i want to tell you that wrong things when they happen to another person be rest assured that one day you will face the same wrong things we don't talk because we just want to talk we don't talk because we want to be alarmists no we talk for the good of society we want order in society we want the rule of law to be followed that's why we talk that's why we talk that's why i'm talking i am talking because something is wrong it is not ordinary for people from Maseozi to find themselves in prison if you allow these things many of you you will find yourself waingira mu police next to the mu prison you will end up being jailed people will start being the 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 government can start jailing people without taking them to court that is a danger if we are going to allow this kind of things it means that this government we will start jailing people without passing them through the court that's why you have to pass through from Marseilles. you go to you go to court and from court you go to prison that is why there is that process so that the, the 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 court can look at the case which the police has but if you are going to be taking people from 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 the police straight to prison you are removing one imp one important institution of government that is the that is that is the court so it shouldn't be allowed don't get comfortable don't feel to say no it is zumani i mean after all i don't know zuman who is zuman uh who is the gift who is he uh, Maguire? You, you shouldn't do that we shouldn't do that we shouldn't allow wrong things this is wrong at least from my point of view it is wrong how did they open in the night how who signed the warrant it is very unfortunate and i insist the case that these people are charged with according to the police it is non-bailable but it is non-bailable after it was after it was changed in 2020 i think it's 2022 but at the time that they committed this offense in 2020 it was bailable so and then if you look at the substance of the case I can assure you this case seeing the light of um, a, a day in court seeing this case in court uh, you you will remember me you'll be laughing you'll be laughing and these are some of the cases like some of you it is easy to prosecute a case on social media it is very easy i know people get excited hey the heart is going to jail the heart is going to jail you should be coming to court and listen listen to some of these cases and see if indeed i am a potential prisoner you should be coming to court and listen if indeed i'm a potential prisoner i'm not a criminal how can i be a potential criminal how can i be a potential prisoner when i'm not a criminal all i do is talk and what i talk about is something that affects everyone in this country i speak for the good of this country that's what i that's why i speak i don't speak for myself i don't come to social media i don't do that even those that help me they help me not because i've come on social media to ask they help me because of appreciating what i'm doing appreciating what i'm doing and here I want you to learn we ba shai shiba ba kapokola nga ba kuikata nga ba lefa kukufumia ni bond and bond you don't pay then ba fide ba kutola kukoti when they take you to court that's where there is bail bail can be can be in your own recognizance or cash bail in your own recognizance recognizance it means that you won't pay the court will say you will pay 50000 kwacha okay but in your own recognizance meaning you won't pay that 50000 kwacha unless you mess up with the conditions you mess up with the condition for example if you don't go to court 
on a day that you are required to go to court, then you will pay the 50,000 kwacha. But if you attend court, you don't miss court, then you don't need to pay that amount. But when they give you cash bail, yes, that one you pay. You pay. Cash bail you pay. In your own recognizance, you don't pay. This is bail, which is given at court. Chris Zuman Zimba has not been given bond. Chris Zuman Zimba has not been to court, so we can talk about bail. We can talk about bail. Pretty much, um, that's what I wanted to tell you. But anyway, I'm happy that we have located him because I was very concerned. And I'm sure even some of the relatives of his co-accused, they also wanted to know. The, one of them, um, you know, one of them is at Kikamwala, but the others are at, um, at uh, Chimbokaila. I think, uh, uh, having said that, let me go and see my wife now. Have a good evening. Thank you. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.